What was the sign of Pisces? So, Pisces, in the recent past, we got the Three of Wands, and it's with the Judgment card. Now, this Three of Wands is showing that it could have been a time for you in the recent past where you felt like your ship had finally come in. Because the Three of Wands, it's showing that your finances, they were probably going much better. Um, you were feeling really strong with a good reason. You could have finally experienced some, experienced some important success after you had been through some difficulties. So the Three of Wands, it can refer to work in an extremely positive way. Even if you don't work outside the home, it means that your efforts, they were seen and appreciated. Now the Three of Wands is with the Judgment card. So this Judgment card, it can be about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and of course judgments that are made too hastily. So if you were prone to doing things like this, it would have been a sign to slow down and give things more thought and people more chances. This card can also be about a time of spiritual awakening. So with these two cards paired together for the recent past for you, Pisces, Three of Wands and Judgment, it looks like there was some situation that you were in and it felt like it was about time for something great to happen. So something good finally happened. You experienced and you experienced some you experienced some important success. It could have been with a relationship or a situation. And it felt like it made you think, wow, my ship has finally arrived. But if this was a person you were dealing with and it and it made you feel this way, the, the connection made you feel this way. Um, picking up that uh, the person you were dealing with was very judgmental, or they, they ended up being very judgmental toward you, and it caused a make or break period. So maybe the connection didn't last that long, but when you met this person, you thought it was, wow, it was about time, you know, this came into my life and you thought, like I said, you thought, wow, this is great. My ship has finally arrived. And if it wasn't a person, like I said, it could have been a situation. But for, this is a love reading. So for most of you, Pisces, uh, it was a person that ended up being too judgmental towards you. And it just, it just caused the connection to be at a make or break. Now, that's a recent past, so let's get off of that, and let's talk about what's coming up for the present time. We got the Six of Swords and the Death card. Six of Swords is a great time for travel, if you can manage to get away. It could be about a change in where you are inwardly. Usually it's a change for the better. Um, it's, it could be internal or ex external. It's about thinking where you want to be. Six of sword, Swords, there's a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So it's about taking this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break or a change of scenery, it's going to be helpful. Now, it's with the Death card. The Death card, keep in mind, it doesn't necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for our readers to predict physical death because we're all creatures with free will. And such things are not written in stone. This card simply indicates transformation and change. Now, this is definitely a time of deep transformation. Could be both internally and externally in your life. Could be some situations, things and people that you had counted on or had gotten used to, they may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Now, just know that this transition, it can be a very difficult time for some people, but the change is nearly always needed. So, for the present time, coming up for the month of September, Six of Swords, Death Card, 
Now with these two cards paired together, it's saying that you move into calmer waters with someone or someone is going to be attempting to move into calmer waters with you. But it looks like you're, you've changed. You're no longer the same person that this person see you as or knew you as. I'm picking up for a lot of you, it's the same person from the recent past um, who was very judgmental towards you. Because the recent past, it could have been a week ago, a month ago, six months ago, or more. So, like I said, Pisces, a lot of, for a lot of you, this is the same person that passed, passed harsh judgment on you. Yeah, it looks like they could be coming back, or they could still be in your life, just trying to smooth things out. Because it calls the connection to be at a make or break. Now, if this is not a love interest, it could be, yes, <clears throat> yes, it could be a friend or a family member. <sighs> but, um, yeah, they're going to try to make things right with you. But um, they'll probably realize that you're no longer this person that they pass harsh judgment on. Um, and if they don't realize it, you know that you're not the same. Something that something something about you that they just um, viewed probably viewed in a bad way, and they uh, came to conclusions about you. They jumped to conclusions too fast, and now they will just want to move in the calmer waters with with you or this could actually be you trying to move into calmer waters with them and if it's not the same person from the recent past who was very judgmental this could be the person you're dealing with or or someone else but I'm picking up for most of you it's the same person from the recent past that was very judgmental yeah but you've changed you're no longer who they think you are you're a different person, so yeah. You two looks like it looks like it's looking like in this picture. You two move into calmer waters, so that's a good thing. Um, any problems that you two had, um, they're being solved. There's resolution and there's recovery. Okay, um, keep in mind with the death card here. It could also mean that you've lost interest. You're no longer interested in the connection, but someone tries to make things right, okay? So let's let's move on over and let's see what's what we got for the challenge. We got the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Swords. So the Wheel of Fortune, it speaks of um, fortune in your favor. Now, this card, it reminds us that this too shall pass, whether it's good times or bad times, it passes. If suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, try to keep your perspective, because as that too, like everything else, it changes. You got to live in the now and count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is really outside of our control, but even that's okay. So roll with any changes, and think positive, but this is good, the Wheel of Fortune fortune is in your favor Pisces but it's with this ten of swords which is showing it's a clear signal to be careful where you put your trust because when the ten comes up in, a, in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that the situation is stable well the answer is a pretty clear no however try to keep in mind when one door closes Another door opens, you're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So your challenge is that hmm, whoever you you moved into calmer waters with or whoever this is that's trying to move into calmer waters with you, it looks like you still don't trust the connection or you just don't trust you just don't trust the person. Yeah, 
you kind of feel defeated and you f you're starting to feel like it was actually a failure so maybe you think there's something behind you're gonna start to think there's something behind this person's thinking because they want to move into calmer waters with you whereas before they were very judgmental against you so you kind of like you might be like making making it seem like you're okay with moving into calmer waters but deep down inside you you really don't trust this person yeah because this man has all these swords stabbed in his back so you might have felt defeated when they were judging you really harshly yeah and, and um judgment card also means not offering forgiveness so yeah you kind of still don't really trust this person even though they're trying to move into calmer waters with you um the good thing is that fortune is in your favor so the wheel has turned in your favor so you can pull all those swords out of your back because it's showing a lot of good is about to happen for you yeah so you're not trusting this connection i'm kind of picking up for a lot of you pisces this is this this is a love reading but for most of you it's not, it, this reading is kind of turning out to be a, a general reading so this could be a family member or a friend or maybe someone that you just met yeah it, this connection felt great at first because in the recent past you felt like wow this is great my ship has finally arrived but then this person started to you know look at you with the screw face just passing negative judgments on you now they want to move into calmer waters but you've changed you're different fortune is in your favor now and you still you still don't trust this connection even though you probably said yes um we can be friends or yes let's let the grief of the past be gone but deep down inside you feel defeated and you feel like the connection is actually a failure it's ruined but like i said i like that the will of fortune is here fortune is in your favor so you got a lot of great things a lot of great things that could be happening for you take advantage of you because the wheel, take advantage of it because the wheel does turn it does turn but right now fortune is in your favor so let's take a look and see what the outcome is So for the outcome, we got the Seven of Cups and the Four of Cups. Now, the Seven of Cups is about having too many options, causing disorganization, and just too many choices. Yeah, or having a lot of choices. And um, yeah, basically, it's about what I just said. I don't even. I don't even need to. Claire, I don't even need to speak more on that. It's about having just a lot of options. Put it that way. Now, it's with the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups, as you see this card, Four of Cups is the card that's below the word outcome. This man is, looks like he's at the park. And he's got um, his head down. He's in really deep thought. And his hand is bleeding. Now, you can't see, probably can't see the blood on his hand. But he's so set in deep thought and wishful thinking and regret here that he can't he can't even get up to take care of himself. You know, his hand is ugh, there's a lot of blood on his hand, but he's stuck in wishful thinking. Now it's a card that warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and, and to count your blessings. That we keep that we each currently experience and not to worry too much about what could be because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have so be sure that you're counting your blessings and don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away because that's what he's doing now just know a lot of life it actually has to do with where we put our focus so 
Try to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So it looks like this person that's trying to make peace with you and you're still not trusting the connection, okay, they have regrets because they see that uh, you're keeping the door open. Yeah, you're keeping the door open and you have options. They see this and they have a lot of regrets that they didn't offer forgiveness in the recent past like they should have. They see that you're different, fortune is in your favor, you're keeping your options open, and they kind of sense that you, you're not really trusting the connection anymore. So your person, they're stuck in regret. Um, they could start to feel rejected by you and unimportant. <laughs> so now they're kind the tables have turned. Now they're kind of, they're feeling like they're feeling the way that they made you feel in the recent past. Now they're starting to feel that way. And it's all because they jumped to conclusions. They didn't offer forgiveness. And they passed, they passed really harsh judgment on you in the recent past. And this was someone at that time where, whereas you, you wanted something to happen. You, it felt like your ship had finally come in with this person. But... Yeah, they were too judgmental, and the relationship was at a make or break. They didn't make things right with you, but it looks like they're going to try. But you don't trust it. You're a different person now than you were when you were with them. You you keep the door open because you have options now, or you choose to have options and fortune is in your favor and they see this they see that um the connection is probably at a loss so now they they feel devalued and unimportant important important